to my channel. Uh, this week's video is going to be a bit different. It's not having to do necessarily with my prep series um, for my bikini competition, but a lot of people ask me about my breast implants and ask me um, tons of questions, so I thought I would just do a quick video to address a few things um, in case anyone has watched my videos and have any questions. So, yes, I do have breast implants. Um, I have had mine for almost three years now and I was working out regularly after I got them, before I got them and then afterwards. So I'm going to talk about my experience with that a little bit and then I'll tell you guys the kind that I have because there are three different kinds of breast implants and there's many different ways to get them implanted. So I'll talk about the way I got it done and then address a few questions. So the implants that I have are the gummy bear implants which are a silicone, a silicone gel base. So number one, if you were to open up the inside of the implant, it's not liquid. It's a solid, like a gummy bear texture. Um, number two, they are anatomically shaped, so they're not a full circle like uh, regular sil silicone or saline implants are just a full circle, circular bag that they fill with a silicone or a saline solution. So mine are actually more solid than they are liquid. Um, they can't bust since they are a solid um, implant. Um, also, they are anatomically shaped. I already said that. So they're solid on the inside. They're anatomically shaped, which means they're not full at the top. They're um, so if you're looking at them from the side, if this is the part that is against my body. They're gonna come down like a teardrop and then be more full at the bottom like a natural breast would be. So that's the kind that I got. And the size doesn't matter to you guys at all. It's your own personal preference um, on the size. And the company that I went through, my implants are Natrell brand, I think is the name of it. And they're called the 410 Cohesive Silicone Gel Implant. Um, blah, blah, blah. I was just reading a little bit about them. Um, they actually just got um, approved in the United States not too many years ago, maybe seven years ago or so. Um, but I chose them just because I didn't want an implant that would ever bust. Number two, I wanted my implants to look natural. I did not want it to be obvious that I had implants. So I wanted mine to be less full at the top. So for example, right now I'm just wearing a sports bra. They're not pushed up, so I have you know, cleavage, whatever, but they're not like super full at the top. Like some implants look like this all the time, even when you're not wearing a bra. I didn't want that. I wanted them to look as natural as possible. So that's why I chose what I chose. Do your research if you're thinking about getting them. Um, you know, I asked so many people that had different kinds, why they got what they got, you know, pros and cons about them. I did my own research. I looked at different doctors. I researched for about a year and a half before I actually chose the ones I wanted. And um, I will say I am very, very pleased with the ones that I got um, for my own preference, like I said. So with that being said, I did get mine under the muscle. So my, my natural breast tissue it just sits on top of it. That doesn't mean that um, I originally thought that means you wouldn't be able to feel the implant at all, but that is not true. Like if I feel the sides, I can feel mine a little bit, but I also have kind of a lower body fat percentage than I used to. I used to not be able to feel them at all, but I can never feel them on the sides a bit and in the middle sometimes, um, but no big deal. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I got my incisions under the breast tissue. Some people get them through the armpit, some people go through the areola, the belly button, all kinds of crazy stuff. I just got mine underneath, so I do have an incision that is probably, I don't know, an inch and a half long, but my breasts um, have dropped down to where that fold on the incision covers them, so um, I don't have any issues with my scars being seen or anything like that, really. Um, training, like in terms of gym and downtime and recovery and all that, I would say it was absolutely the worst pain I've ever had in my life. Um, I had very small breasts before, so they had to really get them in there kind of thing. So I was in a lot of pain for probably about a four to five days. Like I couldn't lay flat. I would just lay perched up basically in bed for three to four days. I didn't really move my arms much because it just hurt so bad. Um, the car ride home was excruciating. My boyfriend 
Like I could feel every tiny little bump in the road and I was just miserable, it was awful. But with that being said, I will say I would do it again in a heartbeat. I couldn't be happier with myself. Um, like the reason that I personally decided to get them was because I didn't feel like a woman. Um, I've always had kind of bigger proportions on my lower half of my body and I just wanted to be more proportionate all over and feel comfortable um, in my own skin. And a lot of people say like, oh, I didn't even know you had implants. And I'm like, yeah, because for me, like, I didn't get them to kind of just show and I'm, I'm kind of a more modest dresser, I guess, in terms of girls that have implants or whatever, but um, I don't really, I just wanted to feel comfortable in even a t-shirt, I just wanted to feel better about myself. So I will say that if you're wanting to get them for that reason and you're kind of questioning if you'll like it or not, for me, I love them. I would do it again a million times over. Um, so downtime. It hurt really bad for about a week and a half. I'm a massage therapist, so I went back to work in less than two weeks, so I was, you know, moving, using these my pec muscles and all of that. Um, and I will say I probably should have taken a little bit more time off, maybe a full two weeks, but um, I didn't have any um, recovery issues. It was just kind of a little more painful than I probably would have liked looking back now, but yeah, no, I didn't have any trouble um, going back to work. Some people go back to work like the next week, depending on where your incision point is. So, you know, whatever your, your doctor recommends and then just feel it out, you know, a few days afterwards, kind of move your arms around, see if you can pick some light stuff up and then go from there. So um, in terms of training, I did not work out my chest for probably two years after I got them. And that was just personal preference. I just, it was a little uncomfortable. I wouldn't say painful, but definitely uncomfortable. Like on this area right here, on the inside of this implant, I don't know why. I think I have a little bit extra scar tissue um, and they just, it was just uncomfortable. So I never trained chest. But once I hired my coach, um, he really recommended that we develop the pec muscles just because it helps with uh, the front of your shoulder development. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And I don't have too many issues. I feel a little bit of discomfort sometimes, but that's when I'm really, really pushing myself. So um, again, it's personal preference. If you already don't train chest, then I don't think it'll matter. It didn't affect any other exercises that I did for upper body. Um, and I went back to the gym really shortly after, I would say maybe I took four weeks off from the gym before I did lower body stuff. Um, I will say I always wear two sports bras now when I run because um, I went back to playing soccer pretty quickly after I got them and just wore one sports bra and I got a few um, like stretch marks here and there that I obviously don't want. So I just wear two sports bras now to help kind of hold them in place more, which I never had to do before. So um, aside from that, I have, don't have any issues. I never have. Um, mine, I said I've had them for about three years. They haven't really moved around much. Some people get like separation or migration of the implant. I haven't had that with these, so, um, which is one of the reasons also I went with these. These are textured, so most implants are just a smooth bag, so to speak. These are kind of, have a beveled texture on them, so they kind of Velcro <laughs> to the, your insides, um, which the doctor told me in a really gross story, actually. Um, they kind of adhere to your muscles over time. So mine haven't migrated or anything like that. Um, they move really easily, like they're not really hard. Some people take a long time to kind of like fall into place and stuff. I'd say mine took about nine months before they were perfect. Um, they were very swollen for a few months, very high on my chest. They, they implant them really high because once they fall into place, they're in a natural position. So mine were implanted probably up here, like close to the top of my armpit, and you can see now they're in a, a natural spot, but they move just fine. I'm not trying to be inappropriate in any manner. I'm just trying to share all the information that I can think of when I had questions, because um, that was one of my worries is, oh my gosh, when I get these boobs, are they just gonna be like glued on and not move? They move, they feel, my implants also have a more natural feel to them than some of the other implants that are out there, so um, obviously they're not, don't feel like a natural breast, but they feel more natural than some of the other implants that are out there. So um, I'm trying to think of like any questions that I would have 
Um, I asked a lot of people what size they got and at the end of the day it doesn't matter. I would just recommend really, really spending a lot of time at the doctor trying them on. So you wear a sports bra or a regular bra and they have all these different sizes and you try them on and see how they feel. Um, I felt like when I tried them on before I actually got them, the implants felt heavy, but once I got them I was like, oh these are really light. So that was kind of a nice thing. I thought they'd be like really heavy and they're not at all. Um, but I tried some on and you hear a lot of times almost I don't know, 80% of girls say they wish they would have gotten bigger. So I originally said I only wanted to be like a full B or a C cup implant, or a B or a C, because I was like a negative A. So I go to the doctor and I'm trying them on and I'm like, wow, these feel like not as big as I was wanting kind of thing. So the doctor was like, okay, here's the next like 25 cc up or whatever. And my boyfriend was there with me and he was just like, you know, try on various sizes and I'm really glad that I did because I ended up going bigger than I originally wanted and even now I think I could have gone a little bit bigger, like just slightly. Like I love the size that I got and I'm very comfortable with myself and I don't want it to be personally, I didn't want it to be in your face, I just wanted my proportions to be proportionate. So, um, but yeah, I will say that I probably would have been happy with even just slightly bigger. Um, now that they've settled and they move around and stuff, but I'm very happy with it and Technically now I'm a 32 triple D, but I think that's just because my uh, rib cage is so small that the implant Bra size is so big like if you you look at my boobs You don't think oh my god. She's a triple D by any means, but because the implant is Not a natural breast. I don't know the way it fits in a bra is technically a 32 triple D for anyone who's curious but my implants are not ginormous by any means also I have two different sizes because my boobs were not the same size before so for them to be the same size afterwards they implanted two different sizes so if your doctor recommends that they're not crazy they know what they're doing um, I don't know I don't, I don't I've had them for so long it's like I don't have any questions anymore but if anyone that's watching this video is thinking about getting them or has any questions for me in for anyone feel free to reach out to me. Anytime someone does reach out, they're like, oh, I didn't know if I could ask you or whatever. I'm like, yes, I am not shy about it. When I reached out to people and then, like people that I grew up with, so I obviously knew they got implants and I was like, hey, I have a few questions if you are comfortable with it. There are certain people that denied having them and I'm just like, why? I don't, I'll never understand that. Yes, I have breast implants and I am not embarrassed or ashamed or gonna lie about it to anyone. So if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask me um, if I did not address it in this video, but this is getting pretty lengthy. We're at 14 minutes now, so um, probably gonna end the video here. Um, life update with my prep. Things are going smoothly. I have been on the same feeding uh, cycle for almost three weeks now. So I do four low carb days, not low carb, but four normal days and then two refeed days and my weight is still steadily dropping. Um, it was back up last week, but I think that was because it was just that time of the month for me and it always fluctuates around that time. So today I was back down to um, a, good, a good low point where I've been. So I'm hoping to drop another pound or two maybe in the next week and just keep going with it and I'm getting more comfortable with my posing. I'm feeling more confident, which is really showing in my posing practice, so that's good. Um, but yeah, my food and everything is the same, so I'll probably do an updated full day of eating slash grocery haul in the next uh, two weeks or so. I do have a friend coming from out of town, so I'm gonna be very busy next week, and maybe I'll do some vlogging, um, show you guys how I stay on track without being unsocial because we are doing so many social events. We're going to like a beer festival that has like 50 food trucks. We're going up to Canada for a day. Uh, we're having a cookout with so much good food and I'm just gonna show you guys probably how I stay on track during those things because a lot of people just cut themselves off um, from all social events when they're on prep and it's personal preference but I don't wanna live like that. I'm still gonna enjoy the company of other people and stay on track at the same time. So. I'll show you guys some of that next week, and that's gonna wrap this video up. Um, I'm also putting together a video of my Oreo hunts. You guys know that I'm like obsessed with limited edition Oreos and finding them, and I've been having 
pretty decent luck finding some. I found the blueberry pie Oreos last night and they smell so good. And we bought so many of them because I'm gonna give them to people and put a lot in the freezer for after my show. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for watching. My hair's wet and I'm getting my hair done next week because I just am gonna get it a little bit more blended. And I'm just really uncomfortable wearing it down right now because I feel like it's so blunt. That's why I've messed with it a lot in this video. Doesn't matter, okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful week and I will see you guys in the next one. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later, bye.